Good afternoon. I'm Charles Edge, the chairman for the Skeeton County Board of Commissioners. And today we're here to give you an update on the emergency um, manager process that we have. And at this time, I'm going to introduce Renee Gavin, our emergency manager, who will give you an update on most truths. Hi, good afternoon. Renee Gavin, Whiskey County Emergency Manager. So just to let you know that we have response and recovery efforts um, continually after our two severe storms that occurred and created widespread damage across the county uh, on June 25th. As of Tuesday, July 3rd, at 2.30 p.m., more than 270 municipality damage assessment reports have been completed. Over the 270 units assessed, 21 were destroyed. These are homes we're talking about. 21 homes are destroyed. 65 were majorly damaged. 76 have minor damage. 83 were affected. And four were inaccessible, meaning that we couldn't get to them to do damage assessment. These, continue, these numbers continue to change as future damage assessment reports continue to come in. Um, so we don't have a current estimate for damages, although local communities have reported about 2.1 million in costs associated with their spots cleanup within the public right of way. This is just an estimate with only seven reporting and we're waiting for no other numbers to come, come in. Monday, uh, Congressman Hillary Sculpton and Representative Will Snyder met at the City of Muskegon Fire Station Number 4, located off Lakeshore Drive. They then toured the NIMS neighborhood area, focusing on the areas with the most damage. Those streets are Palmer Avenue, Elm Street, Shiler Street, Vernon Street, Ivy Street, and McGrath Street. Congressman Skolton said, and I quote, when I drive around Skeeton County, the damage is severe and forever alters the landscape of our community. It is time like this when communities come together, neighbors help neighbors, and the importance of effective government is clear. I'm committed to always fighting for the Skeeton to make sure we have the resources to recover and thrive. After the tour, Representative Snyder said, it is all hands on deck to support our neighbors in Muskegon County. Coming out to see the damage in the area with local partners shows how important it is to continue lifting up the needs of those who call Muskegon home. I am committed to doing everything possible to ensure that every resource necessary is available to our local government as they rebuild and recover. So with that, I'm gonna introduce uh, Scott Hubler from Whitehall, and he will speak on a little bit of additional stuff. Sir? Thank you, Renee. Uh, Scott Hubler, Whitehall City Manager. Um, today, Tuesday, July 3rd, Representative Kurt Vanderwall and Representative Meerman, Luke Meerman, along with Commissioner Michelle Azekamp uh, from District 3, Muskegon County, met the White Lake area in between the Country Club and Collinger Drive neighborhood which is the area that is surrounded by utter devastation. Our peaceful small community woke up Tuesday, June 25th with two severe storm systems changing their lives. Trees through homes, cars beyond repair and individuals trapped inside their homes, unable to see or know what was occurring outside. The events that occurred, which we are all living with currently are unexplainable. Given the amount of damage and devastation, it is nothing short of a miracle that there were no major injuries reported and no deaths. And with that, I will turn it over to Commissioner Asakam. Good afternoon. I am Commissioner Asakam, uh, District 3, Muskegon County. Uh, with my visit today, even though the cleanup has been ongoing for a week, uh, the devastation is still very visible and present. What I saw was massive, full-grown trees toppled over, homes destroyed, vehicles destroyed, and because of this, the displacement, displacement of local residents. 
I would like to commend our emergency and first responders, local businesses, volunteers, and communities for coming together in times of need. This is what Muskegon County is all about. I would also like to thank Representative Kurt Vanderwall and Representative Lou Yearman for taking the time to evaluate the response and recovery efforts underway in the city of Whitehall and Muskegon County. I encourage all local and state officials to contact Scott Hubler, City of Whitehall, City Manager, to see for themselves the situation at hand. Thank you. And we're going to close with uh, Charles Nash. Thank you, Renee. And again, we want to thank all of our first responders, police officers, fire departments, EMTs, for all the support and help. That also includes our public works departments and administration, people that's worked tirelessly to work with this assessment and try to help our community. Uh, to further that cause, on Monday, July 15, 2024, from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., we will host a multi-agency resource coordination event for those in our community who were impacted by the two storm system. This event will take place at the Muskegon County Marquette campus and the Student Center at 1903 Marquette Avenue, Muskegon, Michigan. As of Tuesday, today, or Wednesday, July 3rd, at 2.30, 14 agencies have confirmed their attendance for this event. And some of those include Health West, uh, Michigan 211, Michigan State Police Emergency Management and Homeland Security, Muskegon County Department of Veteran Affairs, Muskegon County Emergency Management, Muskegon Public Health, True North Assessment and Resource Agency, and United Way of Lakeshore. Again, we have a total of 14. Those are just a few, um, but we want to make sure that everyone is aware and they can come out and get the support that they need. Uh, please follow Muskegon County social media pages and the emergency alert tab with the Skin County website for updates on this wealthy agency resource coordination event and other continued updates. Any disaster involves many challenges. Thank you all for your assistance and patience as we try to work through this process. And again, we thank everyone for all their support. We'll take a few questions. <laughs> For the White House City Manager, I was just curious if you could talk a little bit more about how city services, businesses, residents being been affected. I saw on the Facebook page the City Hall was without power for week. Is that true? Did we talk to about that? Uh, yeah, we lost power with the storm Tuesday morning and it was restored Thursday evening. Uh, so it was really three days. We had also lost our internet and phone capabilities, so I was kind of teasing with my staff that this is what it was like in the 1980s. Um, but businesses were without power, but they still came to the rescue. The gnarly heifer actually grew cheeseburgers for the firefighters and the other first responders on Tuesday afternoon. So it, it's been tough, um, but I think uh, as has been mentioned, Stevie County residents are very resilient and came together in time of need for each other. Uh, did the um, did you guys uh, manage to get the governor to uh, declare this an emergency, uh, state of emergency? We're still working on that process and, and we'll be able to get you more information on that later, but I don't have that for you today. So I think we're all set. Thank you very much. Watch our page and uh, we'll keep updating. 